Michigan. Moody Gardens is hosting their Wings Over Water Weekend. It's going to feature a conservation film and craft activities in honor of Spring Migra Migration, Featherfest, and of course Earth Day, which is Friday. Yes. Joining us today to talk about conservation is Marshall Johnson, the Chief Conservation Officer of National Audubon Society. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Well, thanks for having me. Well, the Audubon's mission is to protect birds and the places that they need to thrive. What are some ways Audubon does that and what are some ways that people can pitch in and help here? You know, when it comes to birds and bird conservation, it all starts with habitat. So um, whether it's working on policy or on the ground conservation, uh, it's really about improving habitat. We like to think if we, we protect and, 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 and uh, ad adhere to the needs of birds, we solve mo most of the problems in the environment. So uh, just outside of uh, Houston, we work uh, in the Katy Prairie uh, with ranchers and, and private landowners uh, on habitat. And for over, for nearly a hundred years, actually next year is our hundred year anniversary of working on coastal island conservation um, along the Texas coast. We actually own and lease and steward nearly 200 nesting islands for birds. So it's really all about the habitat and we've had a long history of working in Texas uh, on behalf of birds. Boy, aren't we grateful for that work. Yeah. Marshall, can you tell the folks and all of us really about the role that birds play in our ecosystems and in our communities? You know, it really goes back to the whether you, you think of it as the canary in the coal mine or the bobolinks in the backyard. Uh, birds are an incredible um, uh, umbrella for overall ecosystem health. Um, when birds are singing and they're plentiful, you know that that's a healthy ecosystem. And when the opposite is correct, you know you have some things to work on. So uh, birds are the prism through which the National Audubon Society views our work. Um, and birds take us to the places and the people and the communities that we that we work with. And, and so birds are really a great overall indicator uh, species for environmental health. Marshall, uh, let's talk about this film real quick, Wings Over Water. How did you get involved with that and what do you hope people will take from it? You know, it, it was really serendipitous. Uh, I received a uh, basically a cold call from the um, uh, film directors just with this concept. They flew out and we spent a day together and uh, uh, in a roundabout way, uh, we spent probably two and a half years working on this film. And what I'm really, I, I saw the film in 3D for the first time here a week and a half ago, and I was just blown away. You know, you you have your role and you're, you're out in the prairie and you're out in wetlands and you now to see it all come together with Michael Keaton as the narrator of the film, I think people will really get a deeper appreciation for birds, for their precarious journey that they take all across the central flyway um, and the role that prairies and wetlands play not only to birds, but to our clean water, um, our clean air, our clean environment. So um, I think the, the film really brings to life uh, the prairie wetlands and the birds that need them. And, it, and can we also just say how beautiful the cinematography yes, is? Yes, indeed. Yes. It's something about Stunning, a bird in right? slow motion. I mean, we, you know, the wings go so fast when you can slow it and down in great Keaton, detail. Narrating? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's it's really amazing. To see. Absolutely. But, you know, the peak of spring migration, uh, Marshall, that's, that's, I guess, what we're in right now. What role does the wetlands, the waterways play for these birds making their way from the Gulf? coast northward and why that's so important. It's really important and, and truly it is across the, the central flyway. I've had, I grew up in Texas and uh, now I live in North Dakota. So I've I had the pleasure of living in two uh, sort of the, the anchor points of the central flyway uh, here in the United States. And along the way for shorebirds and waterfowl and uh, water birds and, and wading birds, these wetlands uh, play such a critical role in their life cycle. And, and the new growth and emergent vegetation um, within wetlands. Um, it's really what these birds need to make it along their journey, some of which may travel from Matagorda Bay in Texas all the way to Alberta, Canada, uh, when we're thinking about sandhill cranes and whooping cranes. So it, it's, it, wet, the wetlands are, are really the, um, the uh, 
necklace of, of habitat along the way that they really need to continue and uh, yeah. their life cycle Thank you. and their yeah. journey. It really is fascinating. We appreciate the awareness you're putting out there and the advocacy, and we can't wait to see more of this film. Mm -hmm. uh, Marshall Johnson, the Chief Conservation Officer of National Audubon Society, thanks for taking some time this morning. We appreciate it.